dear friends this is my tutorial 22 so in this tutorial i am going to teach you how to do c13 nmr calculation using gaussian and also how to plot that c13 nmr result using multi wfn software okay this is the actual uh, plot for nmr c13 spectrum of pridin molecule okay So before going to do your NMR calculation, uh, first you have to optimize your uh, structure first, okay. So this is the geometry optimization of in molecule folder. Just I will show you that uh, input file using our gas view, okay. So open your gas view. So just to drag that uh, input file, so you will see the pridin input uh, structure okay so this is the input file structures so i will show you that uh, input file just open with notepad plus plus so this is the input file for uh, breeding molecule so just you have to put chk equal to py chk then you have to give memory and also you have to give uh, n, n pro shell okay so here 6 million words i given and used for uh, that windows version that's why I given uh, this one. If you are using a server or super computer, you have to change this two value. Okay. So then this is the root section. In the root section you can see here B3 life theory I used. So a 631 G star basis set uh, you, you used to optimize the predict molecule. Okay, this is the keyword for optimization followed by frequency calculations. Okay. So if you are doing this uh, light molecular uh, systems so you can use 631g basis or outbreak okay this is enough so then you have to give space then you can type your molecule name then you have to give space then you have to give the charge of the system so pd molecule is a neutral molecule and for the type of just a zero okay uh, there is no charge so this is the spin multiplicity of the pd molecule then cartesian coordinate of the pd molecule after completion of the, this one just to give some spaces okay then you can save and submit this calculation okay you will get that uh, optimized output files okay so this is that optimized output file so if you want to see that uh, file using gaslu just you can drag it there okay it will show the file and if you want to see result just to go to result just click a vibrational frequency so just you can start animation you will see the vibration frequency if you want to second vibration just you click in two three four five six like that okay so if you want to stop just to close stop it and close it so then you have to save this file as a uh, new input file for nmr calculation actually this is the optimized cartesian coordinate you have to use always optimized coordination cartesian coordinate for further calculations okay so that's all for that just what you have to do just uh, move up, go to file and just click save and you can make it new folder just name it anyone okay and just you can save to that folder okay so actually this is the optimized cartesian coordinate of the system okay this is the one so i already saved and i did the nmr calculation for you just i will show you the nm nmr input file okay so this is the nmr uh, folder so this is the input file just i will open with notepad plus plus so this is the nmr input file so this is the chk you have to give simply py nmr so you, you can give whatever you want the name that's okay then you have to give memory and the info shared okay this is important so then you have to give the root section keywords so we are using b 3 p theory and the 631 digital basis set we are doing nmr calculation just i given the nmr okay so because i use the giu method okay that's why i simply give g uh, yeah, yeah, nmr if you are using different kind of method you have to mention that method so yeah gaussian default it will do the nmr in giu method okay that's why i did not mention other keywords okay then you have to put a uh, solvation keyword so here i'm doing that nmr calculation in presence of solvent okay uh, chloroform that's why i mentioned the chloroform so this is the not a pcm model this is smd model okay and that's why i may open bracket and put smd and a comma solvent equal to chloroform okay so this is the uh, solvent uh, root section for nmr calculation so okay just you can put this one 
then you have to use phase then you can mention py nmr the system need. then you have to use phase then you have to put zero uh, charge is zero due to the uh, neutral molecule and spin multiplicity one this is the optimized cartesian coordinate okay so that's all just you put everything mm, then you can give some space and save this system okay then you can submit this uh, system in your desktop you will it, it will complete within uh, two three five minutes okay due to some due to the small molecule okay so that's all now i will show you the um, output file for uh, this nmr calculations okay so actually this is the output file for nmr calculation so here uh, here i will show you the solvent uh, this is the solvent medium section so that will uh, print uh, some of the information for solvent calculation model okay mm, then we will see the uh, magnetic shield tensor okay so this uh, i already told you know gio method it's in that gaussian default it will take a gio method okay so this is the isotropic value of uh, corresponding carbon atom in the um, in the periodic molecule okay so this is the thing so i will show you the nmr spectrum using a gaussian gas view okay just we can close it you can just drag this output file so if you want to see nmr result using gaussian you can also see so this is the nmr of uh, this one so here you see um, there are so different kind of things is that we did not get the exactly what we want okay that's why we have to use that uh, multi wfn software in order to get the exact spectrum of reading okay so just we will close this thing so now we will use the multi wfn software in order to plot that uh, reading c30 in mass spectra okay so for that what you have to do you need to download your uh, multi wfn software so this is the multi wfn software so uh, in, in this software no need to install just you can uh, run it directly okay this is the folder multi wfn folder so this is the multi wfn uh, application um, just to double click it will open okay after opening this uh, terminal just you, you have to uh, press enter okay so if you enter the system will direct the uh, folder the yeah, yeah, nmr file you have to make the path to the folder so so actually this is the uh, nmr calculation this is the path so i already did last time that's why coming directly okay so this is the uh, nmr you can see nmr uh, out file over this time uh, just you have to click that one okay so after clicking it will come here just you can uh, open it if you open that that will open with the main function menu of uh, this multi wfn okay from here we have to select what we want okay so here what we want we have to going to plot uh, nmr spectrum so here you can see plot ir raman uv visible ecd vcd roa and nmr spectrum is there just you know we will type 11 and press enter okay now you can see here so uh, this is asking the multi wf masking uh, select the types of spectrum to plot so we want only the nmr so that we have to press uh, 7 and press enter okay so now we have on the third step okay now what we have to do uh, so here you can see seventh one so set how to determine the chemical shift current none okay that means we did not select anything that's why showing like that so now you have to select that uh, method determine determine method okay again you um, type 7 and press enter okay now it will ask uh, three questions zero do not calculate chemical shift and set reference shielding value to determine the chemical shift so and set slope and intercept to determine the chemical shift by scaling method there are uh, two methods so this is the easiest and uh, good method and also uh, good accuracy also is there okay so i, I also request to use this uh, second one okay second number okay so just you can uh, type two and enter okay now it will show the input slope and intercept value okay this is the minus 0 0.9 and 120.5 so we have to know what is this value okay so i will show you that value okay so 
so you have to go to this page this is the the page just to visit this page here you can uh, go there uh, uh, scaling factors so this is the important one if you go to scaling factor it will show a different kind of uh, table line okay here you can see table 1b is a gas phase uh, calculation okay so table 1b is a solvent model smd solvent model okay so if you click this uh, table 1b it will give the geometry optimization uh, steps and also nmr steps and also scaling factors so this is the very important so we have used our molecule optimized with b3 lp 631 g star based gas phase okay then we have did that our nmr calculation b3 lp 631 g star and gaeo and SERF method okay so this is the method we used so in order to get our c13 spectra we have to use this slope value and this intercept value okay so this is the two value we have to use so if you are using uh, different uh, basis set you have to see so this is a different basis set you use if you are using this basis set you can also use this slope value and this intercept value okay so this the based on your basis set you have to choose that uh, slope and intercept value okay so we will uh, select this value okay this is the one we need so we will copy one by one we can paste it Control c so here you can paste it okay then you have to give space so near 188 copy this value uh, slope value slope and intercept just you can paste it and type press enter okay so now we went to last uh, part to plot the nmr spectra so if you want to show your nmr spectra just uh, you can uh, zero you can type zero and enter it will show your spectra in screen itself okay so um, type zero and enter see so this is the our uh, c13 nmr spectra of um, our uh, breeding molecule okay so this is the things so we can also save this image using this uh, multi wfi just we can close that one so if you want to save that uh, graphical file just you can uh, press one one and enter our file will saved into the corresponding uh, folder okay nmr folder so i will show you show you later then if you want to uh, save that x y is a data set and uh, spikes and curves to a plain text file so if you type 3 and enter not 3 2 ok sorry so type 2 and enter it will save us uh, yeah, here x y is data sets we can use that data file to plot using origin ok so that's all so we will see our c13 nmr spectra that uh, image so you see this is our corresponding folder so this is the c13 uh, spectra this is the image is saved by the multi wfm okay so this is the pdn molecule so you can also compare this value with experimental one is exactly match okay mm. so if you want to plot using origin you can use this curve uh, file you can plot it okay so i think uh, i already plotted that figure i will uh, show you that one So this is the NMR plot I plotted uh, using that uh, file only. So you can also like that you can plot and uh, save it. Okay. So this is uh, looks great. Uh, you, if you want to compare with experimental one, just you can compare with uh, this result with experimental. It is completely match. Okay. So that's all. So I have saved that image also. So I will show you that image. So, so this is the finally I have saved image. Okay, mm, yeah.
so thank you for watching my video if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share and also please click the bell icon for future video update thank you thank you for watching next video i will tell you how to do proton nmr spectra using multi wfn thank you thank you for watching enjoy